The film is a, a tribute to my father's high standard of photojournalism, and it's also a historical inquiry into the era in which he worked, because it was a crusading era um, of newspapering. Um, a revolution was taking place, and, and Dad and his colleagues were part of it. Our reporters were there when the windows got shot out on Pearl Street at the Brothers. I felt the shot. I still have one of the pellets lodged here. It was a culture shock. You need a good haircut. A good barber can help you. During that long, hot summer in 68, there were demonstrations here. Hippies would come out to protest in Vietnam. Bob Paley, he just begged for this kind of stuff. He loved it. This film really, you know, was Mary's project. You know, it's her father. It is really, you know, something that has been in her heart. We worked together on uh, two other films with The Neighborhood That Disappeared and Echoes. But this was always the movie she always wanted to make. Well, a lot of people who will watch this film will uh, know about Albany in the 50s and the 60s from what they were told and uh, uh, maybe what they read, but they didn't live through it. So I would hope that they would look at these films and see uh, what we uh, uh, perceive as the reality of the films, some of it good, some of it bad, but it's basically the way things were. Well, I hope they take away the work of Bob Paley, what he tried to do and what he did do with um, documenting beautiful events in a crazy 10 years of the 60s and how truthful his pictures are about um, the events and the people of the events and how important photography is even today, even though things have changed. Recently uh, at a screening, I had a moment to kind of watch the film as just a viewer instead of like someone who was working on it. Um, and something that struck me was just, you know, we haven't come that far, baby. You know, uh, yeah, we have cell phones, we can take pictures. As far as photography and technology, we've come a lot further. But social issues and, you know, uh, some of the stories that are brought out really they could be told now, you know, nothing has, has changed in a way, in a substantial way. And that was kind of shocking. And, and um, I think it's important to just kind of, you know, they always say, you know, if, if you don't, if you're not a student of history, it'll repeat itself. But I, I feel like this film is that, is let's look at where we've come from and how far have we actually moved ahead. And I think that's something very valuable that is worth revisiting. You could also be a, take it a little bit on the more positive side. Uh, <laughs> not not saying you were negative. I'm mean, not saying that. But that uh, the impact of one individual, you know, how, you know, the, this one person, you know, uh, for the positive or the negative, you know, of, you know, one, how one violent act can affect so many people negatively, but how someone like Regine Adams can transform, you know, an entire community with her action. And uh, using that as a call to arms to all of us to, you know, try to do more with our lives.